we continue from where we stopped and at this point uh, we are going to be talking about updating user details. This is also going to be smooth, uh, similar to updating location details. Um, simply going to go to, first let me just close everything, close all. We are going to go to user controller and we are going to write the update method for user controller and then write the methods in user service and that's all. So we start by opening user controller. Now remember the methods, uh, the annotation here is put, put mapping. Uh, I'm actually going to shift this to make some room. So put mapping, we are going to be making the, 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 the update request to users slash users1 id uh, slash update and we, we, we are going to call it update user update user and the the user we are going to update the changes we want to make is going to be coming from our device body and user user and we say user service dot update user although we've not written it update user and we give it the user as well so we are now going to write this update user method uh, in the user service public void so because when you update you don't return anything so it's void so we have public void update user so let's go to write or create this method in user service create this method in user service and we have it here take out this shape so we now say user repository dot save that's all user re repository dot save and give it the user all right this is what we have we have done with update user i'd like to test it uh, relaunch it and test so that we see how it goes so i'm going to relaunch it at this point let's now see how it goes if we if we succeed in this we now move on to the next one which is um maybe update posts yeah so also it's not going to be difficult it's also going to be uh easy again i'd like to thank you for being there if you come this far you are great you are a good programmer perseverance and persistence consistence is what defines an excellent programmer because it's going to be challenging but you need to keep pushing through need to ask for assistance and that is going to be the way it works so we are trying to update a user details so let's go to this so the first thing we can do is to select a user so i'm going to say user one user one get user one and it displays user one so i'm going to just copy this User one is Kainton Munoye, that is me. So I'm going to make a post request, not a post request because I want to update it now. Uh, user one slash update. So how about if I update my name to something else? Control V. Okay, so just close up this and that is fine. I update my name instead of Kainton Munoye, I update so the tech pro. So my name is the tech pro, Kyneton the tech pro. So meanwhile, if we go to H2 database and check the users, so you can see Kyneton Monoye, uh, location ID one. Okay. So I'm going to change my name Kyneton the tech pro and Kyneton at the tech pro. Okay, so let's do the update, send. So it says method not find, not found. So let's check. 
method not found. So, uh, so let's go to the controller update user. Update user. Hmm. Quite strange. The method is there. So why is it say method not found? So so it's actually use us, as you can see, use us. Use us. So let's see. So forget about this error for a moment because it's not a real error. So use us. So let's change it to use us one. Use us, use us one update. Send. So it worked perfectly well. So let's just verify it by going to hate to database and I'm going to do the same. Let's say Kyneton Detect Pro and it says Kyneton at detectpro.com. So this is how to do update for user. And let's see what next we are going to do. I think the next thing we are going to do, updating post details. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, we are going to be moving to part 23. Remember to leave me a comment, try to talk with me, and I'm going to be there for you. And we'll see you in the next part.